Hi, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate the steps you need to uninstall and configure your Internet Information Services or IIS and also how to configure your DNS for your web server using Windows Server 2019. So from your server manager, we are going to add the uh, Internet Information Services um, uh, role and feature. So we go to manage, then add roles and features, and click on next, uh, role based, next. So on the select the destination server, we are, this is my server, so next, and here we are going to have our web server. So click on web server and click on add features click on next next and next next and then install now once it's done click on close then we can test the web page uh, by going to browser so click on your browser and write down your static IP address. So it's 192.168.1.1. And let's see if the server, if the web server is up. And here we see it's successfully up. And this is our default web page for the IIS uh, server. Uh, click on close now I want to demonstrate the steps you need to uh, make your uh, web server uh, listen to a custom port number so as you know the uh, default uh, port number for HTTP protocol is 80 so uh, we can change the default port um, we can uh, do this by going to tools then we open the internet information service manager um, here we are on the manager for our web server expand your server name then on site expand the sites uh, default website and cl right click edit bindings and here we see the default port 80 click on it and so we can add um, the site bindings is basically is a combination of an IP address port and the host name um, on which the web server listen for requests so if you are making the request for a website uh, here is the uh, the configuration settings so the IP address is the IP for my server and I can change the port to 1515 click on OK and then this is the default you can remove this one click on yes close so now if we go to our browser and if we test our web server 192 168.1.1 this one so now you can see that it says cannot reach this page so before when we used to type the IP address we used to type the IP address but um, it's basically listening to the to port the default port number which is 80 now we have to add the custom IP uh, port number so chef and semicolon 1515 and it's now on port, the web server is listening on port 1515 and this is the web server is successfully up so close the browser so next um, I want to demonstrate the steps we need 
to configure our domain name system or DNS uh, for our web server. So basically we are adding a forward lookup zone, a reverse lookup zone and a record and a pointer record for our web server. So we close the manager, IIS manager and from tools we go to DNS manager so this is our DNS manager click on your server forward lookup zone right click and click on new zone so click on next primary next uh, zone name so it's tech no config dot com and click on next so click on next and here dynamic update click on next finish here we have uh, the primary lookup zone so basically the forward lookup zones are used to map a host name to an IP address However, the reverse lookup zone are used to map IP addresses to host names. Now let's click on the reverse lookup zone and right click new zone next. Uh, click on next. So it's IPv4, yes, next. So the network ID, so it's 192.168.1 click on next and zone file click on next dynamic updates click on next and then finish here we have our standard primary reverse lookup zone now uh, let's head back to our forward lookup zone and uh, I want to create an A record uh, basically a record uh, points a domain name to an IP address and also I want to create a pointer record the PTR record which is point the IP uh, to a domain or host name uh, basically think of the PTR record as an opposite of the A record uh, so uh, uh, double click on the forward lookup zone select U zone and right click here and choose a new host A or A A A A A mean IPv4 and the four A's is for IPv6 click on the new host uh, here we have our domain name and here we are going to use the name use the parent domain name blank so we are going to write uh, here, let's say www, and as you see here, the fully qualified domain name now for our host name is www.technoconfig.com. And here is the IP address, so 192. This is the IP address of our uh, server uh, 192.168.1.1. Also, um, uh, click on create associated uh, pointer record uh, this will add uh, a record in our reverse lookup zone uh, and then add host okay done so now here you see the name the type of the record host a and the data it's our IP address if we go to a reverse lookup zone we see the the reverse IP the pointer here and this is the website now close the DNS server and again open tools and head head back to Internet Information Services Manager uh, open this and here I want to basically uh, create uh, or add the host name uh, to our web server so here click on your server sites 
a default website right click and back to the side bindings we can click on our uh, host or site uh, click on add uh, or edit and the host name here the one we just created in the DNS so www.technoconfig.com and here we have a host name now with IP address and with a custom port number so click on OK close this now we can test uh, our web server once again using a browser you can browse to the website and as you see here we are now using the host name so click on this and here is our uh, web server is up and we are using the host name instead of using the IP address and with the custom port so close this now I want to change this uh, default uh, picture or page for our IIS server I can do this by going to click on default website then from the right side on actions click on explore and here's the root or the where is the default web page is uh, stored and this is the HTML document and here's the uh, picture basically I can re uh, change this picture I have my own and let's test this one by replacing mine with the default one um, let me delete this and let me put mine here and rename this to IIS start click on OK and let's see this one here uh, close this back to the uh, web server manager and click on restart now let's go and test our webs, uh, web page browse and click on refresh and as you see here this is my page and we see a custom page here for our IIS uh, Windows server so that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed uh, the uh, tutorial and uh, thank you for watching uh, talk to you later Bye.